This is the Radio 1 News Update for March 23rd. I'm Miriam Arthur. In local news, the National Election Committee has said about 500 Cambodians have registered as observers for the June commune elections, falling well short of the more than 20,000 that civil society groups are hoping for, while not a single foreigner has yet signed up. The Ministry of Education, Youth and Sport has been urged to help children, both those who have never attended school as well as dropouts, to get an education or receive training to improve their job prospects and income. Deputy Prime Minister Men Sam An also raised other challenges for the ministry to tackle, such as the quality of education and teachers, the teacher-student ratio, and consistency between education, training and the labor market. In regional news, Walt Disney blockbuster Beauty and the Beast will be released in Malaysia this month without any cuts, after censors had earlier asked for the removal of a gay moment in the movie. The Power Rangers reboot could be next on the chopping block, which reportedly features Yellow Ranger Trini, a character who is questioning her sexuality. And now, a quick word from our sponsors. With ABA Mobile Banking, my money goes where I go. Out with the family and need to top up the wife's card? No problem. Top up my mobile, pay the electricity bill and the internet bill while relaxing. Done, done, and done. No problem. My teenage daughter left her card at home and needs some cash. No problem. Receive push notifications when clients pay into my account. Definitely no problem. With ABA Mobile App, you can easily transfer funds between ABA accounts, pay your bills, receive notifications every time you receive or transfer funds and more. ABA Mobile. The bank is wherever you are. Coming up next... International news. A Czech zoo is taking no chances after the recent killing of a rhinoceros at a wildlife park near Paris by assailants who stole the animal's horn. The zoo has started to remove the horns from its 21 rhinos as a precaution. Tens of thousands have demonstrated in Macedonia's capital against a proposed government coalition. Sebastian Pinera, who was Chile's president from 2010 to 2014, officially declared his intention to seek the office again this year, betting that widespread disillusion with the governing coalition will help him win over voters. This has been the Radio 1 News Update. Stay tuned for more news on Radio 1 FM 103.7. The news was brought to you by ABA Bank, a partnership you can trust.